Some of you may have noticed that among medics in general, there really isn't much diversity in loadouts. It's pretty much all the same. Crossbow is the primary, Uber saw is the melee, and with just a small chance of variety with the metaguns. See though, this is the go-to loadout for a reason. When you think about all the advantages these three weapons give you, they're pretty much game-changing for anyone who can use them right, and running anything else, you might as well be shooting yourself in the foot. And I don't mean shooting yourself in the foot with the crossbow, like, like an actual gun, just like, you know, just bam, right there in the foot. The answer to this problem is better toys. Now, I say better toys and not newer toys, because I'm not exactly sure TF2 really needs any more weapons. I mean, for now, the focus should be on making the ones we already have work. Of course, that doesn't mean I wouldn't want to see some more reskins like the Rainblower or Capper, especially since my favorite class happens to be the only one who has nothing specific to him. Seriously, friends at Valve, a new reskin weapon like the original or the Scottish Handshake for the Medic would really go a long way. You know, at least at that point we wouldn't be staring at the same weapon all the time. I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. The point is, I don't think new weapons are entirely necessary, but if they ever were, here are some concepts for new gadgets. First up is probably the easiest to explain, the malpractice boots. These boots are an alternative to the medic syringe gun, and well, when I say alternative, I really mean removes it entirely. They increase the push forces received from any sort of air blast or knockback by 20%, and offers the ability to double the player's gravity when crouched. And as a preventative measure, this weapon also makes the medic completely immune to fall damage. In essence, this weapon allows the medic to exchange speed to almost gain the push immunity of the quick fix, letting the medic tank all sorts of damage while ubercharged and not be bounced around like Tigger in a pinball machine. There's also the 20% increase in push forces, which can be as much of a blessing as it is a curse. It can make surfing damage a lot more effective and help a skilled medic get away, all at the cost of a primary weapon. Yeah, you just got melee and metagun, that's it. That's all you got. Combined with the gravity increase, crouching in midair lets the medic come crashing down when he needs to. Of course, having no fall damage is just there so he doesn't turn his spine into an accordion every time he does it. Some of you might recognize that 20% vulnerability stat from the old pre-shove shortstop. And while I like the idea, I didn't necessarily want the medic to get hit by one of the loose cannonballs and get blasted off like Team Rocket. I mean, that was just bad enough as a scout. So while these boots might have a use in helping the medic control his movement, you're still giving up a primary weapon, which I think is warranted. Movement impairment through pyros, sentries, or explosives are some of the best counters to an uber charge, and trading a primary weapon for that sort of you know, direct-ish counter might be worth your while. One thing's for sure though, they will definitely make crouch jumping a hell of a lot more interesting. Let's get fancy with the medic. What if there was a weapon he could equip that let him double down with some of the more sneaky moves on everybody else? A weapon that lets him play the spy's mindfuck game? Well, this is where I introduce the placebo's piece. At the cost of 15 health, this melee weapon grants the medic the ability to cast a holographic version of himself running to wherever the crosshair is directed. Not only are you not using the uber saw, but as a bonus downside, the auto call when an uber charge is full cannot be masked. Of course, there are certain limitations to how it can be used. There's a good 20 second cooldown period, and the hologram itself will take about half a second to be fully formed. From there, the fake medic will run to wherever the crosshairs are pointed, passing through all players and not stopping until it reaches its mark or hits a wall or falls off a cliff, whatever you want it to do. Instead of the hologram being killed, it flickers every time it gets damaged so that everyone attacking it is aware that it's, it, that's not the real player. This idea is uh, it's honestly my favorite just because of how much I love the hologram power-up from my old Halo days, and being able to pull off some of the things I used to do with it in TF2 would be mind-blowing. Seriously, the possibilities are endless. I had an idea about this previously where it had, you know, Saito dead ringer properties, but all that would really do is fuck up people's awareness of the enemy medic's status, especially with uber tracking. Personally, I would love to see the ingenious and quite possibly hilarious uses people could find with this weapon. And who knows, maybe this thing could even shake things up in the competitive scene. You never know. So, I feel like I have to have some sort of idea for a new metagun, even though I sincerely think that the ones we have now pretty much cover all the bases, so here's a metagun replacement out of obligation. Please meet the Neutralizer. This is a beam-focused hit-scan metagun that is 100% player-guided, meaning that instead of clicking on a person and being able to freely look around, to heal someone you actually have to be shooting the laser straight through them. It has an unlimited range, much like the Wrangler, and penetrates through players. The focus meter at the bottom fills gradually over time with a 15% faster ubercharge rate, and healing is increased by 20%. Right-clicking when the focus meter is full switches the beam to the team color for 8 seconds. 
The medic gains a 50% damage resistance and any teammate that connects with the beam will be flashed uber charge. Multiple players can be flashed without any sort of penalty to the charge duration. Whew, Jesus Christ. You know, I mean, looking back on the stats now, I, I, I kind of realize this thing might need to come with a manual. Holy shit. The idea behind the neutral laser was to be able to flash more of your team and better pull off the group uber. Trading a dependable charge on one or two people for a periodic charge on everyone within a much larger area. I'm not gonna lie, this is a fucking ridiculous metagun. I mean, every other idea has either been made already, rejected, or already suggested, so there really isn't much farther to go. It's just plain goofy and everything it stands for, and well, honestly, that could be a good thing. It's the kind of metagun that could be fun to use and even more fun to get right. With the gigantic range, the neutral laser turns a bit into a hitscan crossbow, so you could potentially have long range healing if you're shit at crossbow shots, leaving the primary slot open for some other utility, whatever that may be. Like the vaccinator, this metagun requires a lot more micromanagement, determining where an uber charge is needed most and encouraging your team to play around it. This could, in theory, mean that you can uber charge someone from across the map, which from the bottom of my heart sounds really kick-ass. The only problem is, you have to actually be aiming at them. You really can't divert any of your attention anywhere else, which I'm sure for a lot of medics poses a problem. But if you keep things focused enough and you trust your team, you might be able to pull it off. <sighs> it's no secret that it's really hard for a weapon to compete with the crossbow. I mean, let's face it. Not using it at this point means you're trading massive amounts of health at long range and faster uber charge building for what? Conditionally faster movement and a reward for something you really shouldn't be doing in the first place? Equipping anything else pretty much automatically puts you at a disadvantage, so you'd be hard pressed to find something that can even compare to it. Which is why I've thought hard about a replacement for what might as well be the default primary for a disturbingly large number of medics. Enter the Invigorator, a syringe gun concept that could potentially be a competitor for the crossbow. Where the crossbow excels at bursts of health at longer range, the Invigorator excels at a fast stream of health at close range. Shooting your own teammates heals them for 6 health per shot, with uber charge gain for the amount of healing you do. The advantage it has over the crossbow, however, is that it can overheal teammates. Each shot from the Invigorator buffs your friend 5% of their normal health. In addition to this, it comes with a halved reload speed and minus 50% clip size. The point of this weapon is to help buff teammates faster when time is a factor. It's worth mentioning that that 3 second reload time of this weapon is going to hurt. Especially since the Invigorator shares pretty much all the same properties as the stock syringe gun, meaning that the reload time is by no means passive. You have to have that sucker out and stop healing for at least 3 seconds to get ready for the next boost. Or at least resupply. I mean, that might be at a defensive advantage, but I mean, whatever. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm still on the fence about this gun. I mean, I like the idea, and maybe all it needs is a bit more tweaking in the numbers, and whether or not it could serve as a legitimate replacement for the crossbow is not exactly something I'm 100% on. Which is where you, the viewer, have a role in this. I want to know through the ever-reliable source of criticism, the comments section, what you think of these weapon concepts. Are they overpowered, underpowered, are they the worst idea since pedicures for severe diabetics? And more importantly, what would you suggest the TF2 team add to the game for Medic? There's a lot of possibilities here. Well my friends, I hate to inform you that my name is Array7 and this has been me spitballing ideas for new Medic toys. I hope you all have a wonderfully handsome rest of your day and I hope all those little wads of paper come out of your hair. I'm the invincible, undefeated champ I on Mount Zion's, my ancestors can't rely on Star of David, nah, the thought of star dumb Modern dumb and done crumbs left of the dumb thumb To this play button, glutton of words, mutt